Hello everyone, the Premier League's back tomorrow night. Villa take on Sheffield United. Big game for West Ham, really. They win, they go above us. Simple as that. Um, I'm not a big fan of the, the way that the fixtures are staggered. I, I'm still not very keen on it. Um, I think there's too much advantages and disadvantages for my liking. So we'll go into our game on Friday, knowing, uh, sorry, Saturday, knowing what Brighton and Watford have done prior to us. And then, you know, the other teams like Bournemouth will know what we've done. It's just, I don't like it. I'm not I'm not going to be keen on this. I know this is going to really annoy me um, during the, the rest of the season. But anyway, I'm not here to talk about that. I'm here to talk about players' contracts expiring. There's three of them. Ngakia, Zabaleta and Sanchez. Uh, I'm not going to go into the Ngakia contract. We know what that situation is. I still think there's more to come. Um, so I'm going to park that one. But this is more about the other two. Pablo Zabaleta and Carlos Sanchez. West Ham and every other Premier League club have to notify the Premier League this time next week, essentially. The 23rd is the deadline. I don't know what time on the 23rd, but 23rd is the deadline to let the Premier League know which players will remain beyond the 30th of June. Those whose contracts are expiring, obviously. So you can use them for the first weekend, second game, but then after that, you've got to let the Premier League know who's staying in July. So they'll sign, basically, a month-long contract extension. That applies to Sanchez. And Zabletta. Now, I was thinking about this a little bit, and um, Zabletta is the easy one for me. I would have given him one anyway, uh, a month extension, that is, not like a year, because I don't see why you would. I, th I still think he's a really, really good player. Yes, he's slow, he's lost a yard of he, he came to us relatively slow and lost a yard of pace since, so he's got even slower. But that's it, that's the only negative. His reading of the game is probably the best at the club, his professionalism, his work ethic. You know, it's all up there. The best that we've seen at West Ham in a long time. So I don't see why you wouldn't keep Zabaleta around for an extra month. Uh, especially if Jeremy leaves as well. Then you've got Fredericks and Johnson. That makes me nervous. I think you have to have... Actually, I think it's... I don't want to say it's suicide. But I think you'd really be putting Moyes in, in a difficult position with Fredericks and Johnson as his only choices for right back. He needs Zabaleta in there. Especially with games coming thick and fast. Even if Zabaleta only plays one game, I think it's worth it. I know there's a big... I know he's on a big wage. He's on 70000 a week or whatever. Same as um, Carlos Sanchez, roughly. But I, th I, I think you've got to do it. If we were, if we were mid-table, if we were where Palace or Everton or Burnley are right now I don't know if I would I'd probably say let's let's let him leave and use the game time to see what Ben Johnson can offer okay but we're not in that situation we're in a relegation battle where it's needs must and everybody needs to dig in and Zabaleta would dig in so no brainer for me get Zabaleta signed up for the month of July as it stands neither of them have been given a contract extension and um, I think Zabaleta looks more likely than Sanchez but I believe it or not I would give Carlos Sanchez a contract extension too. Again, just for the month. Because we need players. There's All the evidence in the German Football League um, points to you're going to struggle with numbers, regardless of who you are, especially at West Ham. You're going to struggle. Schalke played on Sunday. Now, they're allowed nine players on the bench. They only had seven. And out of those seven, two of them were goalkeepers. They just didn't have enough players. Um, they be, they played their youngest ever starting 11 for over four years because they just don't have players. They've had to really dip, dig into their youth and stuff. Um, and that's fine. I'm aware we're using like the, the worst case scenario of German football. But that's what you've got to look at. And I just think we're going to have nine players on the bench. That's a 20-man squad every single match. That is a lot of players so if you're missing five players all of a sudden you're under pressure to, to have everyone on your bench now of course you don't need a full bench because you can only make five subs anyway but I just think it's better to give your manager nine fit ish players on the bench every single game and i think carlos sanchez is almost going to be one of those players who he probably won't play he probably won't play but let's just say i don't know we're one nil up against burnley in the last minute, the last five minutes, something. What a substitute left! I, I wouldn't be surprised if David Moyes did look at Carlos Sanchez and say, "I'm bringing him on just to sit beside Declan Rice in front of our defence." And I think you've got to give him those tools because while Rice is our defensive midfielder, if you have a look at the photos from the um, the friendly against Crystal Palace, there's a couple of Declan Rice in it, 
And you could make a good case that Declan Rice is playing centre back due to his positioning in those photographs, which is pretty much beside Aaron Creswell. You, um, we know Ogbonne has been struggling with fitness recently. He's not played in any friendly. He should be fit for the Wolves game. But if there's any fitness doubt over him and other players like Snodgrass and that, then you need as many bodies as you can get. Do I think Carlos Sanchez is a good player? No. But I think David Moyes needs as much players at his disposal as possible to get us through these nine games. I'd much rather see us have nine players on the bench, even if he's got little to no intention of playing some of them, than than forcing him to only have seven, six players on the bench. I just think when you're in a relegation battle, you need to prepare yourself in the best way possible. And I think the best way possible for West Ham to prepare themselves is by giving David Moyes nine fit players on the bench every single game. Anyway, that's it really. Just a little quick video because it was, it was on the back of my mind because I've seen a lot of people say they wouldn't give Sanchez a new deal or they couldn't believe we'd even consider it. And I can understand why. And from a financial point of view, it doesn't really make sense because it's going to cost, I don't know, about a quarter of a million pounds to have him around for a month. But when you're fighting relegation, I think you're just going to have to pay it essentially um, the same as Zabaleta half a million it's, it's a lot of money but if you stay up I would argue it's a bit of a bargain but if you go down half a million wasted isn't it but one thing's for sure and this is what is priceless in my opinion backing your manager backing your manager is priceless and that is why I actually hope we see Zabaleta and Carlos Sanchez staying in July. Anyway, that's it. It's Thursday night. We've got a Wolves preview. I'm really looking forward to that, actually. I'm looking forward to doing the Wolves preview, getting back into the, the normality of things. But I shall see you tomorrow. I've got a video tomorrow. I've got a preview on Thursday. There's another video on Friday, and then we've got all the match day stuff on Saturday. Drop a like on the video if you enjoyed it, as always. Subscribe if you're around here, and I shall see you tomorrow. Catch you in a bit.